Okay. So, okay. so before we be, uh, before we go into the deeper into blended learning, we I discussed with Prof Hong last week, and then we are going to have a blended learning award for quality blended learning. Earlier we are following the 1732, so we'll still follow 1732, and we give the percentage of award. So everyone who like. You still have your platinum, gold, silver, bronze, all those categories. But for individual lecturer, we are going to have a nomination for the Blended Learning Award. So as a e-learning coordinator from my respective faculty, it's very important to nominate because we will consider based on the nomination. Okay. So, so quality so we focus more on quality so what i did you you can suggest changes to this form but it's going to be circulated soon we'll announce it in advance so in september we will announce so then later on they can make the bl blended learning comply with certain standards so then we consider for the award so we have this so you can scroll up we have the full all this is the general thing but what we are looking for this is all the general okay you look for the next one so basically it won't unless you going for this one you go for the next the section okay the main section is the course content so the course content we will be looking for original lectures so we will have for example i will add more links you can add up to about 10 or 12 links for this so the links will be original youtube lecture or the uh, screen casting lectures any lecture over here we look for the delivery platform like the delivery for example how is the content delivered and we look for feedback from students so feedback will be one another content uh, which is very important for this so we will expand this category so go down and then you have your go down just, uh, no, and the student response so any link to student response like you have your jam board or your flip uh, your flip grade anything linked to this we will have this and finally we have your nomination so the nomination will be done preferably by the e-learning coordinator, right, Prof? Or anyone can nominate someone, provided you have a, someone to support your application. So once we receive all the applications, we'll have a, like the same thing like we did for our Tel C, Tel Carnival, independent judge, evaluate, and we'll give the award based on that. Okay, so appraise your lecturers of this particular category. So we are planning to have two, one for the OER and one for the blended learning. So OER will have different category because OER is not going to have different measures. It's not going to measure the response and all that. This one is more on feedback and content. Okay, so that's one. Okay, so that's one. Uh, so the nomination, what will be the problem? Any criteria? Any? Let's say, you know, uh, I don't like you. But no one nominated you, so will we? Don't the coordinator good. should know. The coordinator should know. Ah, yeah. Of course, we'll combine with statistic. Do you have any criteria? Check balance. Uh, currently, we don't have criteria, but basically, we are looking at original content. I will distribute all to you all before we announce. We are looking for original content, then inter uh, element of interaction. And uh, th those things are there. So, the IUC. IUCL. So basically, we, this is uh, so in each faculty we are suggesting uh, like each uh, discipline, right, Prof? Each faculty. So we have uh, social sciences, humanities. There will be only one gold, silver, bronze like that. So we have uh, cluster. One Salmi will know better about that. Arts, humanities. Sciences? Applied sciences, Applied pure sciences. Sciences, Pure and applied science. Pure is one applied technology. So we'll. Oh, Pereka, yeah, more, right? More, I think maybe seven or eight. So we follow, we can follow Pereka also, but we, we don't want to exclude someone. So, but we'll uh, award based on the best of each category. So it's basically original content, then interaction and uh, other feedback. So, and student response also, that's an important factor. So this is the basic form which we made up. 
so we will we will distribute that somewhere in after the uh, means around middle of uh, september i think september just when the semester starts so then people can start improving their blended learning for the quality okay so that's one of the thing the other form which we have zool well is the content uh, so template and template form so that's basically blended learning checklist there uh, open that blended learning checklist Okay. Uh, this. Uh, this must be taking award place. in hotel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can afford. Yeah. 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 So this is this is another checklist I'm going to distribute to you. It's not compulsory to fill in, but just distribute it among your lecturers so we know the statistics of what's happening because we are using the PHP server to evaluate information, but the PHP gives only the metrics. It only tells you 1732. We only know the complex. So we are basically going to do this. This is based on the blended learning design from call. So we are giving you a checklist so which co covers all the content so basically first you have introduction to the course i will show you some examples of our call blended learning courses later on which are developed by even nor eliza has one right pomology and elnetra has i will show you examples of very good courses and you can reference them or we can basically print out the pdf and distribute to lecturers so you can reference that course so this is what you need in your course so you need to have even though you have when you commence your blended learning page you need to have an introduction to the course you need to have a self introductory video by the lecturers a course synopsis which is your table for uploaded as pdf but you also need to state your clo and your learning outcomes your course objectives and your course learning outcomes in the body of the document because very few student actually go and download that even though it's first download right they are required to click and download as a legal requirement but very few students see so they do not know they are learning outcomes so we need to have that you need to have the criteria for assessment very clearly stated to the students so there is no ambiguity so you tell them that this carries this much marks or this one is this uh, rubric for assessment so we have some rubrics from ruby star if you want you are, you are aware of ruby star right eh? ruby star so ruby star gives you rubric templates so you have rubrics Uh, this is of course the 1732 the seven learning resources three activity and two assessment this is the minimal standard but this is what dr indira had suggested for call blended learning each uh, module should have a stated learning outcome which you can map back to the clo and plo okay so these are important in fact if you see the new uh, moodle uh, the new moodle platform or the new mooc right each course some of the lecturers from other universities each course uh, each course has got Uh, CLO, but each module in that 14 weeks is actually linked to the CLO, which has its own module outcomes. So that's the way it's done. Okay, so they map back. So uh, this is the module feedback provided to student via forum post, individual formative assignment, collaborative wiki, quiz, RSS feed, group assignment, and badges. Okay, so these are the various things which you can include in your uh, respective courses. So your lecturers. You, if you, they wish to fill in the form, they can fill in. We'll get an overall statistic of what is being done at UMS because this exceeds the 1732. So we'll be able to assess the needs or the training need of your lecturers. Okay, so go down. Go down. So that will be the suggestions. So we also give this for avenue for the lecturer to suggest various kinds of software or plugin which they may require over the period of the course, and then. a general suggestion so i will distribute these forms to you all later and we will announce the anugra form in september somewhere in the middle of september we'll make an announcement so everyone can get ready by the way pereka already announced right pereka announcement is come so you can go down so this is the only work for individuals of course faculty will have we'll follow the same form, format platinum gold and silver and bronze is actually is good but like is too afraid to work with computers especially okay. you know doing the learning but we had the initiative to learn with him i spent a few hours with him teaching him my own few hours module by module okay until it's pass. very good yeah, until he passed why is he afraid of computer because afraid of afraid uploading 
conscious to careful with the you know, something like that. Oh. Like that. Uh, only. <laughs> oh, he's self-conscious. Yeah, he would don't want to record yeah, his own. I, I know him. 